we're right here looking at this underpass at Liberty Canyon here in Agura Hills. And this massive underpass, huge um, wide, right? I mean, you know, technically it's one lane each direction, but it's a massive gap. So it was designed to take more like eight lanes of traffic when it was put in several decades ago. And the idea was to support a significant development in Northern Los Angeles County. So out here, which is now the Amundsen Ranch um, uh, open space preserve, but, but was what was originally slated as a new city, um, medium-sized city in Los Angeles County um, was proposed and throughout the 70s and 80s, that's what was, that's where the pressure was. Um, a huge campaign to save it um, is, is a story in and of itself, but suffice it to say, this underpass was designed to support this big um, development. As a consequence, we have this relatively huge underpass under the massive uh, barrier to movement that is the 101 freeway above me. And uh, so I believe it's four lanes each way above me right here. And uh, just very difficult barrier for wildlife to get across, for example, amongst other things. In this case, there's lots of relatively open area, uh, lots of um, relatively car-free area to um, go out that way towards the Simi Hills or go out that way to the Santa Monica Mountains. And so this explains why um, the, the, the uh, more successful crossings that we have had of the 101, of this massive barrier to movement and, and, and fragmentation element uh, here on the edge of the Santa Monica Mountains, that explains why this is such a, an, an important area. As a consequence, uh, this is also the site of conservation efforts to try to augment, to try to boost the ability of wildlife to cross through um, this difficult um, ribbon of concrete and vehicles, nearly continuous wall of vehicles. And so this is the site of um, the being constructed uh, overpass. And so in this case, the overpass is gonna go over the freeway. And again, this is not something that just happened once. This has um, actively been being designed for a decade, but uh, also the land acquisitions have been going on for several years, spearheaded by a bunch of different groups, but in particular the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy and uh, its uh, the mountain uh, and, and its associated uh, entities. Lots of great work from the National Park Service, etc. But as you can tell, it's not obvious, you know, in first pass, where should we put a, a wildlife crossing? We have buildings over here, buildings over there. So the acquisition of the land to enable the crossings on either side is a huge part of a strong um, uh, wildlife connectivity um, approach and efforts to, to minimize fragmentation and movement barriers to wildlife. So we actually, we lucked out, we had that here. Um, triangle parcels, all these different parcels of land have been acquired. And then of course the huge push to get the funding for the design, installation, um, uh, maintenance, etc., of the, in the next few years, massive Annenberg, um, Wallace Annenberg Wildlife Crossing right here at Liberty Canyon in Agura Hills.